Welcome to the Coin Atlantis channel, the old and rare coins channel, do not forget to click on the like button and activate the subscription bell until you receive all new on our channel. 1964 Nickel Value Guides, Rare Errors, D and No Mint Mark A nickel is a 5 cent US coin coated with nickel that's how it got its nickname. It was first minted in 1866, but our particular interest is in the 1964 Jefferson nickel. It's a popular coin among collectors and traders, so in this video, we're going to verify the 1964 nickel value. History of the 1964 nickel The first ever 5 cent coin was a silver half dime minted from 1793 to 1873. Although it was spelled dime, the S was silent and was eventually dropped altogether. As the story goes, Thomas Jefferson raided his cabinets for silverware and handed it over to the mint so they could make those first 1,500 silver half dimes. But the Civil War made people hoard coins. Buffalo and Jefferson Nickels The Buffalo Nickel, 1913-1938, that came before was quite popular with the public, so it circulated well. But it was hard to produce. It wore out the dyes rather quickly and the design on the coin became less and less distinct as it passed through multiple hands. The Mint was glad for a chance to change it, and they eagerly switched to the Jefferson Nickel in 1938. The 1964 Nickel is also a Jefferson Nickel. Like the original one from 1938, it was designed by Felix Oscar Schlag. Schlag's design was a contest winner, and he earned $1,000 for his work. He did have to modify his initial design, but once it was approved, it stayed on the coin until 2004. Unlike other coin makers, his initials, FS, weren't stamped on the coin until 1966. The coin shortage of the 1960s, due to hoarding, meant the mint stopped putting mint marks on coins to discourage silver stacking. So the 1964 nickel was the last 5 cent coin to bear mint marks until 1968. 1964 nickels came from the Philadelphia and Denver mints, so you won't find any with the S mint mark. But the 1964 SMS can be quite valuable, $30,000 plus. That said, you may see lots of 1964 nickels, as well as nickels from other years, listed as FS. And this may be confusing because 1964 nickels don't have Felix Schlag's initials. Well, in this context, the FS stands for full steps. It describes coins that are in such good condition that you can count five or six of the stairs leading to Monticello. These can sell for over $30,000. Features of the 1964 Nickel Nickels aren't worth much today, and officials want to phase them out along with the penny. But collectors still study and trade this coin, so let's review some of its most distinctive traits. 1,028,622,762 nickels were minted in Philadelphia and 1,787,297,160 in Denver, with none in San Francisco. It was the largest batch to date, possibly because most were made in 1965. The obverse of the 1964 nickel. He obverse, heads side, of the 1964 nickel features Thomas Jefferson. He was one of the founding fathers and served as the third U.S. president. Schlag based his portrait on a bust sculpted by Jean-Antoine Houdon. The portrait is in profile and faces left, with the words in God we trust in front of his face. Behind his head, the word liberty runs along the collar. The minting year is after the legend liberty. Officials didn't like the font that Schlag used so he was asked to change it. During the war years, 1942 to 1945, nickel was diverted to the war effort, so these war nickels have a different alloy that's 35% silver, 56% copper, and 9% manganese. But 1964 nickels have the same metal composition as earlier pre-war coinage. The reverse of the 1964 nickel. The reverse, tails side, of the 1964 nickel features Monticello that's the formal name for Thomas Jefferson's house in Charlottesville, Virginia. Along the top collar is the legend E Pluribus Unum. The word Monticello is stamped below the building, and the coin also has its denomination spelled out as 5 cents. 
The bottom collar reads United States of America. In the original design, Schlag had sculpted Monticello at an angle with some trees in the background. The mint made him change it to a straight-on image that faced forward. This design was used until 2003 when it was temporarily replaced by special edition Lewis and Clark designs. After 2004, Schlag's reverse resumed, though the front design was changed. Other features of the 1964 nickel Nickels are made of 25% nickel and 75% copper. They're sometimes described as bronze, cupro nickel, or clad coins. The core of the coin is copper with nickel plating on top to mimic the appearance of those original silver half di s mess. Nickels weigh 5 grams and have a diameter of 21 21 mm 0 835. 1964 Nickel Value Guide Because so many 1964 nickels were minted, most are only worth their face value. But the melt value changes according to the market price of copper and nickel. Also, since the coin is so common, collectors don't pay attention to anything below mint state. And even then, unless you get a rarity like an FS or SMS, you're unlikely to make much profit from nickels. 1964 P no mint mark nickel value. Over a 1 billion 1964 nickels were coined in Philadelphia, so they have no mint mark. At low grades, the coin is barely worth its face value of 5 cents. But if you can find full steps coins, the price goes up. A 5 FS or 6 FS, meaning 5 or all 6 of the steps are discernible, can go for anything from $200 to $40,000. This is because the FS coins are harder to find in the wild. 1964 D Nickel Value When it comes to 1964 nickels, there isn't much difference in the pricing of 1964 D and 1964 P coins. They both range from $15 to $500 for MS60 coins. In 5 FS or 6 FS, a 1964 D nickel can sell for $20 to $6,250. Because 2021 was its 100th anniversary, prices were good that year. A 1964 DMS 65 sold for $6,000 while a 1964 DMS 65 plus nickel sold for $9,000. 1964 D Jefferson Nickel D, DRPM Error RPM means repunched mint mark. It's a doubling or tripling error where subsequent mint marks land in a different position. RPMs are written as D, D, D over D. You'll see traces of the earlier impression underneath. In July 2022, a DD graded MS 66 sold for $19,800. PCGS has only graded two of these error coins and their estimated value in 2023 is $22,500. 1964 FS Nickel Value According to PCG, they sold two specimens of 1964 FS Nickels back in 2019. One sold for $9,400 in May, and the second sold for $8,519 in September, so the price is coming down. Further back in 2014, a 1964 FS MS 67 nickel went for $14,100. PCGS quoted their value at $17,625 in 2016, though it was an anniversary year. In April 2022 they sold one for $22,800. 1964 SMS nickel value If you can find one that's part of an SMS, special mint set aka special strike, you can get over $30,000, since only a dozen or two are known to exist. Full-step specimens can sell for even more. Steve Strom's 1964 SMS SP68 was sold for $32,900 in 2016. Earlier, in 2009, that exact same coin sold for $8,625. A nickel in a similar grade went for $31,200 in 2021. Coins with errors can sometimes fetch better prices than flawless coins. But this depends on the type of error. FAQs about the 1964 nickel How much is a 1964 nickel worth now? Most 1964 nickels are only worth face value at 5 cents. 
uncirculated ones can hit around $200 to $300. But as we saw earlier, a 1964 SMS SP68 nickel sold for over $30,000 in 2021. How can you tell a 1964 special strike nickel? A special strike isn't a circulated coin or a designated proof, but it often has the sharpness and definition of a proof coin. The angle of the edge is distinct, the features are well defined, and the surface has a satin finish. Only 12 to 24 of these coins have popped in public spaces. What does SMS mean for 1964 nickels? In other denominations, SMS means special mint set. These are coins issued from 1965 to 1967 because no proof coins were minted during those years. They came in sets of 5, 1 cent, 5c, 25c, and 50c, without mint marks. Since they hadn't been introduced in 1964, nickels of that caliber are categorized as special strikes instead, but they'll still be designated as SMS. The rarest Jefferson nickel, 1964, ranges from $10,000 to $1.5 million. When it comes to rare 1964 nickels, not only is the 1964 SMSFS coin worth a lot of money because of its uncirculated condition and original appearance, but it is also believed that there are only 40 examples of SMS 1964 nickels in the entire world. There is a unique 1964 fault that greatly increases the value of these coins. As you know, the 1964 Jefferson nickel was inscribed with the Latin motto Pluribus Unum, which translates as out of many, one. However, some coins seem to have a different inscription on them, i.e. pluritus. Namely, due to heavy polishing, the letter B was blurred, which led to a unique error. Ironically, these false nickels also have a high and expensive value that may reach $10,000. 1964 Jefferson Nickel Mirror Brockage The nickel Jefferson 1964 is called Mirror Nickel. The coin is one of the most expensive assets any collector could own. But why would it have such a high market value? This mysterious coin has a mirror brockage error. It has a head on the obverse and reverse. But one of the sides looks like a mirror. This strange, striking error makes collectors want to invest all their cash to get it. The 1964 Jefferson nickel with this mirror error isn't a coin for anyone to afford. Prices range from $100,000 to $1,150,000. The Philadelphia Mint struck the coins in 1964. While some 1964 Jefferson coins are nickels worth money that a lot of people can afford, there is a mysterious one that is one of the most expensive nickels ever sold on eBay. One 1964 Jefferson nickel was created with a mirror brockage, showing a head on both sides with one mirrored. This mistake at the mint has turned into one of the most highly sought after nickels worth millions. It is reported that it sold for $1,150,000 on eBay. Now that you know the 1964 nickel value, look for the many differences that make these coins unique. First off, see whether you can identify if your nickel is made in Denver, look for the D mint mark on the reverse, or in Philly, no mint mark on reverse. Are there any errors in the spelling? Analyze your coin to see whether it fits a fine grade or a low grade condition. Who knows, you might just own the rarest form of the 1964 Jefferson nickel on the planet? FAQs How do I know if my 1964 nickel is worth anything? To determine the coin's value, look for the following. Full steps Coins that are in perfect condition with no minting defects. Uncirculated nickels with no signs of degradation. They also retain their original features. Minting errors 1964 nickels can have special minting errors, such as repunched mint marks or missing dates. In other words, if your nickel has five full steps and unique minting errors, it will be worth much more than the traditional 1964 nickel. Is a 1964 nickel silver plated? No, the 1964 nickel is made of 75% copper and 25% nickel. The only Jefferson nickels that contain 35% of silver were made between 1942 and 1945. What is the 1964 nickel value on eBay? You can find different deals on the 1964 nickels on eBay, 
ranging from $20 to $12,000 per coin, depending on the grade, mint location, circulated, uncirculated, strike type, and condition.